Hi there, welcome to WP Matt. Here in this video, I'm going to be talking about chart widget of Elements Kit plugin. Before showing you the chart widget, one thing you have to make sure by going to Elements Kit, Elements, and you scroll down and make sure the chart widget is activated. After that, click Save Changes. Now you are ready to use the chart widget. Let me show you some of the demos of the chart widget. Go to Elements Kit landing page after that Elements demo and find the chart. Click there and then you'll end up to the chart widget page. And there you'll find different type of demos. The first one is bar chart vertical. And if you scroll down, you'll have bar chart vertical with label bottom. Then you have the bar horizontal and horizontal with label. After that, you have line chart, line chart top, rudder chart, toner charts. After that, you'll have pie charts, polar area and so on. In every chart option, if you hover any item, you'll find a tooltip. And inside of this tooltip, you'll find detail about that chart. Now let me show you how you can use these existing demos. Open any page with Elementor Page Builder. After that, you'll find Elements Kit icon. Click on the icon, then you'll find the Layout Kit. From there, go to Widget Preset, then you scroll down and find Chart. After that, you'll find all the demos that you have already seen in Elements Kit website. If you want to use any of them, open that. After that, you'll find Live Preview button and Insert button. If you want to see the Live Preview, click on the button Live Preview. Or if you want to use it, click the Insert button. After that, the chart will be inserted into your website. If you want to customize this one, click on the chart and in the left side, you'll find all the options to customize this one. But let me show you how you can create a chart from the scratch. I'm deleting this one. Now from the left side, search chart and there you'll find pie chart and chart. Take the chart by elements kit and drag and drop on your page. After that, in the left side, you'll have two types of repeater. The first one is data and the second one is set data. The data works as a column. Right now, you can see I have three columns, but if you need more than this, click on add item under the data section. I'm clicking add item and I'll use label as April. In set data option, you have three columns. If you open any of the column, you'll find label and data. There you can see it has got three data separated by commas. That means in these three columns, you'll have three data. To speak in details, there you can see I have four columns. The first one is January, then February, March, and the new one is the April. And in this label, you have three data. The first one refers to the January, the second one, which is 20, it refers to the February, and the last one, which is 15, it refers to the March. Or if you want to add any value to the April, then you have to add another data here. I'm using a comma. After that, I'll use 45. And that data will go to April. If you want to work with the normal color and the hover color on that time, you have to use this one. As an example, I'll use the background color here, red, and the hover color I want to use, green. All right, now if you open the second one, there you'll also find three data. The first is 20, which refers to the middle one, I mean the second one of January, and the second value is 10, which refers to February, the middle column. And the last one is 33, that refers to the March, the yellow color. If you add another item here, that will go to April. In my case, I want to use it 25. And similar to the first one, you can work with the color and the background color. It can also work with the border width. By default, you will find one pixel, but let's increase it to three pixel. And if you open the last one, you'll find the similar settings. Let's add a new item here. All right, now if you go to settings, you'll find chart styles. From here, you can choose any chart style you want. Let me show you some of the demonstration, like bar horizontal, line, rudder, donut, pie, and the last one is the polar area. After that, you'll have the show title option. You can disable it or enable it. Then you'll have the title box. Then you have the option to enable and disable the label, legion, and tooltip. Tooltip is something that you can see after hovering any item. If you disable it, you won't find that one. So this is how you can work with the chart of Elements Kit. Thank you for watching this video.